Hi everyone! Today I'm doing a review on Gen Crafts Acrylic Pouring. So we've got Gen Craft Acrylic Pouring Set and these are ah, just the regular colors. Lots of pretty colors. Periwinkle, lemon yellow, etc. Lots of nice colors. Two ounce two ounce bottles. And then I have the Gen Crafts Metallic. Um, so all these colors, but orange pearl, violet pearl, etc. And then neon. I love neon. Of course, I am drawn to neon pink. Love it. Drawn to this one. Neon purple. What's the difference between these? We've got, oh, neon lime, and I've got neon yellow. Yep. So, let's get started. Let's walk over here. And I am pouring on cradled wood. go that I have painted black because I'm going to use a black base coat and you don't want to gesso the wood with white um, if you are pouring black over it because you run the risk of being able to see through it so I already picked out my color. Oh, and the nice thing about the Gen Crafts is it comes with two black ones and two titanium whites. So that's nice because it usually takes me at least two tubes to cover the background of something. So then I've got Iron Pearl, which I'm using, Copper Gold, Cadmium Red, and Titanium White. So, it started with the black. I don't know if it'll take one or two tubes, probably two, to coat this, I would guess. Yeah, it's going to take two. Nice and thick. So far, I've noticed between the three pouring acrylics um, that I've tried, they all have a very, very similar consistency. Um, much thicker than my own paints that I use. But they are all very similar in consistency. Hope you all are having a nice day. It's Sunday for me, but this won't be shown on a Sunday. I don't know what day exactly. It will be shown, but not today, because I have to let it dry so that I can give you a full review. Um, this does have a slight odor, but it's not bad. But I can smell it. And it is nice and thick. Got to get all the edges. Touch up the sides. Looks good. So let's 
let's put in some red and some white. That was in the metallics. It looks like it's got a bit of metallic in it, but all it says is titanium white. But it does look a little metallic-y. Iron pearl, which is a really pretty color. And then the copper gold. Oh, I must have forgotten. They do come sealed. Uh, there we go. Actually, I had taken the foil off. It just had that little piece of paper still stuck in there. Yeah, add a little bit more red on top. Maybe a bit more of the iron pearl. Oh, and something yellow. I'm not even working with yellow. And let's see. It's flat. I'm going to tilt it down and get rid of these two spots that I accidentally created. Tilt those off. So used to tilting my own paint, which moves really fast, and this doesn't, but that's okay. I think this is how a lot of people mix their own paints. I just have always mixed mine on a thinner scale. I think I like it how it is. Look at the little red cell that popped up. So let's torch it. Whenever I do um, a painting on wood, I always resin it. So this will be hopefully really beautiful with resin, with the um, metallic colors on it. It'll show really well. Take my gloves off. Um, so I will show you the dry version of this tomorrow, um, which for you will be in a few seconds.
Catch you then. So my Gen Crafts painting is dry and it's beautiful. This was on a wood panel. And look how smooth and shiny. It dried really nice. No lumps, bumps, or anything. No pinholes, no nothing. Just perfect. So I'm really pleased with the Gen Crafts. I like them. They turned out really nicely. Um, I'm happy with this piece. So the link will be in the video description. Thanks for watching.